Yeah. All right, write the following words down, please. Gratitude. Expectation. Paul talking about that. Yeah. Expectation conversation. Needs analysis. Prioritize needs. Trial close. Trial close. That's what I missed. What? Thank you for meeting with me today. It is always a privilege and an honor to meet with a homeowner and discuss the possibility of representing them in the sale of their home. I like to start by sharing my mission statement with you. My mission is to meet your goals and exceed your expectations. Now, because of that mission statement, Nathan, whenever I meet with a potential seller, one of three things typically happens. One of those things will happen today. Either they'll understand and appreciate what I have to offer and they'll hire me which is awesome. Or they may not hire me, and quite honestly, that's not so awesome. And then the third thing that occasionally happens is I may choose to turn the opportunity down. Now, Deborah, if you're wondering why I would choose to turn the opportunity down, I think you're gonna really like the answer. You see, if I feel that a seller has a goal or an expectation that I cannot meet or exceed, I would rather turn the opportunity down today, Deborah, than let you down six months from now. Does that make sense? So Matt, in order for me to know if I can meet your goals and exceed your expectations, I just need to ask you a couple of questions. Let's start with on a scale of one to 10 with one being not so good <laughs> and 10 being great. What needs to happen in the sale of your home that would cause you to consider the experience a 10? All right. There it is. Let's begin the conversation. We got through gratitude, expectations, um, and we are transitioning into needs analysis. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. I want you to practice. Um, I am going to be jumping from room to room, looking for someone who is going to, this is an audition, looking for someone who is going to share their listing presentation with the group when we get back. All right. Hey, John. Talk to me. Can you make sure that I'm in a room with three because I'm about to be hopping in the car to drive? Yes, thanks for all that food right there. Just, I feel like stopping the call and going to eat now. And right. yes, I can do that, Chandra. Thank you. You got it, girl. You know the part where you say um, a goal that cannot be met? You said a goal that I cannot meet. Um, did, I remember we was in a breakout room a while ago and you said, uh, you know, don't say I. It's don't a bad habit. You. Mm -hmm. It's a bad habit. It really is. Thank you for pointing that out for me, Daryl. Okay. Oh, I'm looking for Chandra and it's, you know, I can't find you because it's Matt and Chandra. No, oh. I've got Matt. Oh, there we go. Stop doing this to me. All right, uh, let's do this. I'm gonna move you to room two. And Angel is gonna go to room four. All right, here we go, hit that box. Man, I can't believe I did that, Daryl. Thanks for pointing it out for me. That cannot be met, not that I cannot meet. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 